Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Hang with Harmilda. A special day for us here is we're with State Representative Steve Reich. There's a lot of buzz in educational circles about the new evidence-based model of funding, and that's something new for how our schools are funded. So we're hoping Steve can tell us a little bit more about it and what it means for us here in Harvard. Thank you. We just passed in uh, the state legislature just passed and the governor signed a bill that changes the way we pay for schools, are supposed to pay for schools here in Illinois. It establishes a funding level for certain benchmarks that a school should have. It takes class sizes, ESL students, special needs, and puts them all in, into a formula that says, okay, if you have this many kids in, uh, in kindergarten, you need, you'll get so much funding based upon that number of children. But the fact is, is that the evidence-based model stands to help Harvard gain quite a lot of money because Harvard is in the tier one level of schools, which means it's furthest away from adequacy and the model puts more money into the lower tier schools with the hope of bringing them up toward adequacy. It quantifies the needs of various school districts. Obviously the thing is, will the money be available in order to make that leap in additional funding? Um, that's a good question. The state uh, legislature has appropriated an additional $350 million for, for uh, Im implementing the, uh, the K through 12 or, or the uh, evidence-based model. We'll see if we get it. Uh, economic growth has to, uh, has to provide that. But the fact remains is that we're trying to find a way in which schools can receive the kind of funding from the state of Illinois. The Constitution says the state's primarily responsible for paying for education. Now we're trying to figure out a way how we step up and actually do that. Well, wonderful. Congratulations to all the legislators who have made that happen, and we're excited to see how, what it means to Harvard and, and most importantly to our students who deserve only the very best. Thanks, everyone.